the British Challenger II, a tank so durable, so precise, that it's earned a reputation across the world as the only modern main battle tank that has never been destroyed in combat. Born out of the ashes of Cold War rivalry and British engineering pride, this 62-ton monster isn't just a machine of war, it's a fortress on tracks. When the Challenger II first rolled out in 1994, it wasn't designed to be flashy, it was designed to win. The UK's Ministry of Defence wanted something that could withstand the latest Soviet armour, survive direct hits, and still strike back with pinpoint accuracy. The result was a tank that combined traditional British craftsmanship with cutting-edge defence technology. Underneath its rugged exterior lies a Perkins CV-12 diesel engine, a 1,200-horsepower powerhouse capable of pushing this giant up to 37 miles per hour on road, not the fastest, but fast enough to get where it needs to go while keeping its crew alive. The Challenger 2 isn't about speed, it's about survival and dominance. What truly separates it from other tanks is its armor. It's built using Dorchester Level 2 composite armor, a top-secret classified blend of ceramics, metals, and other materials so advanced that even modern anti-tank weapons struggle to pierce it. This armor has been tested in real combat and passed every single trial, but protection means nothing without firepower. The Challenger 2 carries a 120mm L30A1 rifled gun, one of the most accurate tank guns ever built. While most modern tanks use smoothbore guns, the British stuck with rifling, those spiral grooves inside the barrel that spin the shell, increasing stability and accuracy. It fires armor-piercing thin stabilized discarding sabot rounds, high explosive squash heads, and smoke, depending on what needs to be obliterated. This gun has a confirmed record of hitting enemy tanks from over 5 kilometers away, one of the longest tank-to-tank -tank kills in history. Combined with an independent commander site, thermal imaging and laser range finding, it can see and destroy targets day or night in sandstorms or through heavy smoke. Inside, the Challenger 2 is a world of its own. Each tank carries four men, a commander, gunner, loader and driver, working in perfect sync inside an armored cocoon that's both a workplace and a war zone. Despite being built for battle, it's surprisingly comfortable, fitted with climate control, NBC protection, nuclear biological and chemical defense, and advanced communication systems that keep the crew connected on digital battlefields. Even the gunner's controls feel like a high-tech sniper station, every movement precise, every shot deliberate. The Challenger 2's reputation was forged in the fires of Iraq during Operation Telic in 2003. In the urban chaos of Basra, it faced RPGs, IEDs, and direct hits from enemy tanks and survived them all. There's a now famous incident where a Challenger 2 took multiple RPG hits and 70mm anti-tank rounds, yet continued fighting and returned to base under its own power. Another Challenger 2 was struck by a friendly Challenger 2 shell, one of the most powerful tank rounds in existence, and although it was damaged, its crew survived. That's how tough this machine is. In its decades of service, no Challenger 2 has ever been lost to enemy fire, not one. That alone puts it in a class of its own among modern main battle tanks. Compare that to the American M1 Abrams or the Russian T-90. Both powerful, both battle-tested, but both have seen losses. The Challenger 2's flawless combat record has turned it into a symbol of resilience and British engineering excellence. But even legends must evolve. The Challenger 2, now over 25 years old, is aging, and the battlefield has changed. Modern tanks like the Leopard 2A7 and M1A2 SEPV3 are pushing armor and technology to new limits. To stay relevant, the UK launched a major upgrade program, the Challenger 3. This next-generation variant will replace the old rifled gun with a 120mm smoothbore L55A1, the same type used by NATO allies. It'll feature a new digital turret, AI-assisted targeting, enhanced thermal sights, and even more advanced modular armor. Essentially, it's a rebirth of a legend, re-engineered for the wars of tomorrow. The Challenger 3 aims to serve well into the 2040s, keeping Britain's armored fist ready for whatever comes next. Yet no matter how advanced future tanks become, the Challenger 2 will remain an icon, a symbol of reliability, courage, and unyielding defense. 
Its motto, carved into the hearts of every crewman who's ever driven it, says it all. Fear not. For decades, the Challenger 2 has rolled across deserts, cities, and fields, not as a relic, but as a reminder that the art of tank warfare isn't about being the fastest or flashiest, it's about being the one that comes home. And the Challenger 2? It always has.